Say the name Jim Thorpe, and many would argue you're talking about the greatest American athlete ever. But there's one place in America where the name Jim Thorpe is synonymous with home. Here's Moraga. Nestled in the foothills of the Pocono Mountains lies a charming borough, once nicknamed the Switzerland of America. But locals call it something else now, Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. You couldn't miss the name if you tried. There's a Jim Thorpe Neighborhood Bank. There's a Jim Thorpe Market. There's a Jim Thorpe Borough. And we're standing in front of a field for which high school? Jim Thorpe Area High School. And the name of the team is? The Jim Thorpe Olympians. Mayor Michael Safranco is a lifelong Thorper. In 1970, when we'd go somewhere, and they'd say, where are you from? And I'd say, Jim Thorpe. They'd say, I don't want your name. I want to know where you live. <laughs> and now what it has taken on is when I go somewhere and they say, where are you from? And I say, Jim Thorpe. They say, oh my god, I love that town. It's about the town more so than the person. Yes. And in case you're still wondering, yes, the town is named after Jim Thorpe, the man, who became famous worldwide after the 1912 Olympics in Stockholm, Sweden. Well, being crowned the uh, greatest athlete of the world by the king of Sweden, I think, is one of, my, one of my great moments in my life. To call Jim Thorpe the greatest athlete in American history is not a stretch because no athlete before or since has done what he did. David Marinus would know. His biography of Thorpe, Path Lit by Lightning, published by Simon & Schuster, like CBS, a division of Paramount Global, tells Thorpe's remarkable story. No one has had that triad of being the first great NFL football player, a winner of the gold medal in the decathlon and the pentathlon, and a Major League Baseball player. And he was great at ballroom dancing. He was a good skater a great swimmer. Lacrosse. Lacrosse, definitely. Even uh, people said he was good at marbles. Is that true? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now remember, boys, the, the athlete also you became an actor. Keep your eye on the ball and never look up until the ball is in flight. He now just stop. And thanks in part to his own activism, Native American characters were increasingly played by Native Americans, himself included. Prague, Oklahoma was originally Indian Territory when Thorpe was born here in 1887, brought up on the Sac and Fox Reservation. His birth name, Watho Huck, translates to Bright Path. If your last name is Thorpe, do you have to be good at sports? You do not. None of his descendants could never fill his shoes. Thorpe had passed away by the time Anita Thorpe came along but she spent her life learning her grandfather's story. People would come up to us and say, are you related? I, I still get that to this day. As a grandchild, I just feel like it's my honor to carry his name and to continue his story any way that I possibly can. And back in Jim Thorpe, the town, where tourism is thriving, I want to welcome you guys to the Jim Thorpe Trolley Tour. I'm going to come down and punch your tickets. The story of Jim Thorpe the man gets a little complicated. But how many of you guys know how long Jim lived in this town? Never. That's correct. After Jim Thorpe died in 1953, most of his family wanted him buried in Oklahoma. But his widow had other ideas, and she struck a deal. She gave her late husband's body to a down-on-its-luck region of the Poconos, and the resort town of Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, was born. If you weren't mayor, what would you think of that? Obviously, I would want to dig in and find out, well, why did that happen? That's got to be a mobituary, right? <laughs> right. I mean, that's just, yeah. For the full story of America's greatest athlete and how he ended up buried in a town he never lived in, listen to Mobituaries wherever you get your podcasts.